one of my subscribers by the name of Ian commented on the, on the last video talking about, I, I was talking about why I haven't been putting up any videos because I've had my head down working on all these projects. As you know, I said I, I made the commitment to, to jump in and to do all these things that I've been putting off for four, five, and six years around the household, making excuses, kicking the can down the road, and five, six years later you wake up and nothing is done. And I'll tell you what, I started this for real on Friday, and I was, I, I, I was pissed. Um, I had a I had a bad attitude all day. I was uh, feeling sorry for myself, and 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 I'd look up. I'd try to get started on something. I couldn't find a tool, or I couldn't find this, and I was getting really frustrated. And I was even taking it out. I was taking it out on Jack, taking it out on my wife. You know, like hey, you know what? Where'd you put this, and where'd you put that? And and not only making myself miserable, uh, but but bringing down the whole family. You know, I'm the I'm the head of my my home. I'm the leader of my home, and I and I in in many ways I set the tone uh, of the day by my attitude and how how I conduct myself and how I control myself and how I behave. And that, I, as uh, a guy I've been listening to, David Gogan, uh, uh, he talks about having that attitude. Having he calls it having poopy pants. And the first time I heard that, I'm like, oh, that you know. That's a stupid thing to say, but I, I got to thinking about that, and that's what I did. I had poopy pants all day long, feeling sorry for myself, overwhelmed, and taking out out of my family and making everyone miserable. I went to bed that night. I, I was really sullen. I wasn't talking to anyone. I just, I just, I, I just looking around at all of the things I had to do, and it just made me angrier and angrier and angrier. And I, I thought about it, and, and I, it, I finally realized, you know what? I need to make an I need to make an attitude change. I need to take. I, I've been really listening to a lot of uh, a lot of the guys talking about this extreme. I, I think it's extreme accountability or, or something like that. And what that means is stop lying to yourself. Stop trying to blame other people for your problems, and step up to the plate and take care of your own problems. And deal with it. And I thought I didn't hardly sleep at all. That was uh, Saturday. I took Saturday off, and and I, and I was still kind of thinking about that. And and it was really, it was really started to sink in, and I started to understand what was going on. And I realized that I've been lying to myself, and and making by making excuses, and and by uh, uh, blaming other people, blaming other people uh, for for the reason why I don't do something. Going back to Friday. I, I would do things like, um, so I'm working around the house and I'm thinking, you know, my time is more important than everyone else and, and how come I have to do everything around here and, you know, just really wallowing in that self-pity and, and I'd have like paint brushes out and drywall stuff and I'd, and I'd bark at my, you know, my wife like, hey, you'd clean these brushes and do all this stuff, you know, as if she didn't have enough to do. Um, and I, and I, what I realized on Saturday, and when I, when I started back to work on Sunday, I'm like, you know what? That's not her problem. That dirty paintbrush, that drywall knife that needs cleaning, that garbage out in the yard, that's not her problem. That's your problem. You take accountability for it. You deal with it. You made the mess, as if she doesn't have enough to do. And, and, I, and I started looking at it that way. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to complain about this stuff anymore. I'm going to make an effort today on Sunday. I was talking on Sunday. I'm going to make an effort. I'm not going to complain about this. I'm going to buckle down and I'm going to do this. And I'd start working on something and I, and I'd get frustrated. You know, I'd like, I'd try to think all the tools that I needed. And sure enough, I'm halfway through it and I'm standing on my head and I don't have something and it's a long ways away to the other shop. And I guess I start see, feeling myself get really angry and I, and I changed my way of thinking and I said, you know what? Good. This is a good thing that's happened because what's gonna what you're trying to think of something positive is gonna come out of me having to get up and go into the shop. You're gonna see something else that you've forgotten, and you'll be able to get it here, and you won't have this problem next time. So every time I started getting frustrated and started getting angry, I would repeat to myself, I'd just say, "Oh, good. There's an opportunity that's gonna come out of this." And then I'd get over that, and I'd start looking around, and I'd finish one little project and start feeling good, and I'd my, lift up my eyes, and I'd see ten of the things that weren't done, and I'd start getting depressed again, thinking, man, there's just no hope. There's so much to do around here. There's just no hope. 
And I'd say, no, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to look at it that way. I'm going to, I'm going to focus on what I can do in the next 30 seconds. I'm going to focus on what I can do in the next hour and I'm going to get this particular done. I, thing done. I don't care if it's just putting one screw in. That, that's going to be an accomplishment and I'm going to look at it that way and I'm not going to look at the big picture. I'm going to keep my head down. I'm going to fight, fight, fight. I'm going to keep fighting until I get this stuff done and I'm not going to quit. And so, I was having a pretty good day and, and uh, I was starting to get stuff done and I was working in my office uh, doing some drywall and I heard Mrs. W scream uh, and not you know she'll scream when like a bird's in the house or or she sees a mouse or something like that this was this was something that was a lot more severe than that and I came come running out here and she had walked down our front stairs um, and because of my neglect because I haven't been keeping up on stuff and I knew there was a, a wobbly stair down here the stair had rotted and broke off and she's got the baby in her arms and only by a miracle um, she didn't fall down and either, either one of them got hurt. Uh, but it was really close. And I knew, I, I have stepped on that, on that step a, a hundred times, uh, noticed it was wobbly and I lying to myself and making excuses not to fix it. And you know what it was? And the biggest excuse that I use for not doing things around here, it's this. Well, if I can't do it right, I'm not going to do it at all. So there was a wobbly step. I could have just, uh, you know, went and, and got some boards and, and taken a couple hours and took it apart and, and, and rebuilt it and, and, and been done with it. But I'd say how I would, how I would soothe my conscience and how I would lie to myself is like, well, the whole porch needs redoing and it's not up to your standard. And if I can't do it, uh, I'm not going to do it half ass. If, I if I've got to do it half ass, I've got, I, I'm not going to do it at all. And therefore, going on and, and feeling and justifying in my mind the reason why I don't have to make that repair. And as soon as I came out and I saw her and the baby and how scared they were, like, that's on me. My, my initial instinct was like, well, you knew that was loose. You need to be more careful. And I, and I got back to that accountability. That's on me. That's my fault. And it's, I'm only lucky that somebody wasn't hurt because of me. That's 100% my fault. This is my responsibility. So this has really helped me and you know to answer Ian's question this has helped me uh, to get through these projects by changing my attitude but it's a battle whenever that doubt and whatever that frustration starts creeping in you got to stop it like no I'm not going to entertain that yeah maybe I can't do everything maybe I can't get all this stuff done and, and maybe I got to paint the whole house and it's just too overwhelming well you know what go get yourself two gallons of paint and paint half of one side and then the next day go paint another one at least do something so, I, I, um, I hope this is helpful, uh, and, and, I, and I think that there's guys out there that can relate to this, and I, and I have put off all of these things for the things that I wanted to do, and what has it got me? It's got me a miserable, uh, it's, it's, I've been very unhappy. I've been very unhappy, and I, 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 would, I don't know if I'd say to the point of depression, but sometimes it is depressing when you have got so many things to do and you, you just don't even know where to start and you don't, don't even think uh, you, you can accomplish it. And, I, I'm, a, and I'm feeling better about it. I, I've got five days in of, of work. I'm getting up at 4.30 in the morning. 4.30 in the morning, getting the stuff done I need to do. If I need to get uh, parts or supplies, I'm at the lumber yard when it opens at 6. And, and so I'm not losing any time. I'm waste, no, wasting time. Getting up at 4.30, quitting to work at 6.30, sometimes 7.00. I don't, six six days a week, it's going to get done. It's going to happen. So um, I, that's why I, I've been so focused on that and and, tr and try and working so hard on this. I just couldn't be. I just couldn't take the camera along and 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 do it. It was it was slowing me down too much. It was too much of a frustration for me. But um, I'll. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to keep grinding. I'm going to keep getting this stuff done. And and I'm going to uh, uh, when I when I come home um, and I look around. I don't want to see unfinished projects. I want to see finished projects. And, and just because something it may not be as good as I was hope it could be, you know what? It's gonna have to. It, it's it's you're gonna have to be good enough uh, because you can only do so much. And I'm gonna stop being so hard on myself. And I'm gonna stop lying to myself um, and giving myself the excuse not to do something. If it can be done, it's not gonna be put off. It's gonna be done today. It's gonna be done before playing. It's gonna be done before dirt biking. All that stuff. And um, and I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get my peace back peace back in my life.